how about the how about Watchdogs and their DRM so, issues? I'm not gonna focus on this too long. I don't know much about Watchdogs. It looks like a game that I would probably play if it came through the store used and I had a one of the systems that like one of the next gen systems. But the computer version released by Ubisoft using the UPlay system uh, has been was experiencing um, DRM issues and uh, day one download and play issues, once again preventing people from being able to use the product that they rightfully fucking purchased. A la SimCity last year. Right. So, I don't know. I mean, this is such old news, but it's just the fact that it's happening again makes me want to bring it up because no one ever learns from these mistakes. If you have DRM and you have a game that people are really hyped up on playing, your day one is going to be a disaster well, and there is going to be fallout so for it. it. looks like you had to use this Uplay. Yeah, it's their own unique... Uh, EA has a similar thing. Um, it, it's called Origin. Uh, a lot of these systems have these... Um, Basically, unique storefronts that use their own DRMs. Okay, Jesus. a lot, a lot of these, a lot of these companies. Okay. Now, Steam is is kind of on the other side of things where they're trying to get everything under one roof. But you know, you play Ubisoft's you play is, is is not. You know, EA's Origin is not. So, anyways, people weren't able to log in to authenticate and play. And therefore, their game was useless on day one. And what's stupid about it, and it, this isn't this isn't a statement that's profound because everyone freaking makes it. But uh, you know who was playing it perfectly fine on day one? Uh, people who pirated the damn game and cracked it. Everyone was playing. Was it, it cracked the first day? Oh yeah, everyone was. Uh, yeah, pirates download and crack that. Shit. Arr, yeah, day, maybe go um, crack that watchdogs game. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Completely unnecessary R. But, you know, I mean, people who are playing it on consoles, people who are playing it, um, you know, uh, pirated, you know, they all get what they were looking for. It's it's the paying customers on the computer who don't get it. And what I just don't understand is, you know, how cert- some of these companies aren't well, learning these things. I wonder, uh, I really wonder, it's very hard to, to quantify how much piracy hurts. Because it always goes back to the argument. This was a topic we can talk about now. Someone asked asked in uh, in the um, the Q and A. Sure, they did. Um, we'll we'll get that out now. Uh, we can talk about it. It's it's hard to quantify the lost sales because the argument always is, at least to me, were these people going to purchase the game anyway? Right. And that's impossible to quantify unless you, you know, you had someone take, um, you know, a truth serum and answer the question. Yeah. I, I will say from my perspective, if I'm gonna, if I really want a game, ninety nine percent of the time I will buy it. You know, I will go out and I will buy the game if, if, if I really want that game. If I really want a game, I will 100% of the time go buy the game. I just don't. I just don't pirate. It's 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 it, 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 even if it, as long as there is someone where the it, it, as long as I can buy it in a way that is set up so that money will trickle down to whoever it's supposed to go to, sure. I will buy it. Um, stuff like emulation. Uh, you know, if we're just talking about piracy in general, kind of trying to answer this question for for the, I think it was uh, the guy who writes for your site, uh, Foxhounder. Yes, uh, Foxhounder. Um, you know, uh, piracy such as emulation and even music piracy to a degree, it depends on the person. Emulation for me, and I think for a lot of the customers that come to the store, it's a way to try before you buy. Um, when you can't rent, you know, a Nintendo game or a Super mm-hmm. Nintendo game anymore. Do I really want to spend 110 on Evo? Well, let me download the game and find out first. Sure. You know, do I like, do I really want to well, buy this album? Let me listen to a track first. Well, we, we also have to uh, differentiate between games that aren't, that if you pirate them, you're not hurting the company anymore right. versus newer stuff that you are. Yeah, no, so. and in that regards, I agree 100% with you. It's hard to tell because most pirates probably wouldn't have bought the game anyway. Sure. I, I just don't think they would have. Um, going back to, I mean, in college, um, I remember I even had a little, what was it? I had an IRC little server that served up Whereas like, back like then. Serve bot? Yeah, I had one. Okay. People downloaded stuff for me, uploaded it. Yeah. Back the, That was the first year we had T1. I remember it was available at, at my college. <laughs> so it was all porn, MP3s, and Whereas that year. Um, but a lot it's of Whereas. People, whereas. Whereas. I used to call it Juarez when Juarez. I was a kid, but it's Wares. <laughs> just Wares. God, I remember the Wares sites they used to have. Just mm-hmm. you just download stuff right off it. Zero God. day. Anyway. Zero day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sign up for zero day <laughs> Wares. Um, but I mean, a lot of it was just collecting. Almost, you're like, oh, let's see what I can get. I remember I would try to find just like hard to find games that were weird. I remember downloading stuff like, like a really cool computer tennis game. I would never have bought that. Right. You know what I mean? It was just you. It was there, so you played it. You know that sort of thing. So that's that's my general stance on, on it. 
is that it's it, unless you can quantify the, the you, you know how much you're hurting that company it's they, that shouldn't be a huge countermeasure focus look at look at the movie industry the movie industry is making more and more money every year piracy has not hurt it in the least bit right it really has it um so I, they haven't really done much to counter i mean if you really want to say, yeah, obviously they they go out, and I always, it always stinks when you see like a thirteen or fourteen year old girl get sued by a music company for downloading Britney Spears. That used to happen. I think they've stopped doing that to that extent. But I, I had a, a relative that got a you know a cease and desist from like a, a cable company or something that they because they found out I guess he was on sites that were streaming movies. This is like five six years ago. Like that's happened before. Wow. But I think that's the wrong approach to go after little people like that. You go after, if you're going to go after the, go after the source, if you're going to go after it. Right. Well, they want to make an example out of yeah. someone which, and scare you, which is dumb. Because honestly, even though you may know someone that happened to the odds of it happening to you are slim to none. Anyone who looks at odds knows that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. My general stance on piracy is I don't. I like to support the musicians I like. I like to buy. You know, I, I, I have tons of like Ultraman and Kaiju bootlegs, but as soon as it's made legally available in the U.S., I go buy it. Um, games, you know, new games, I always buy. I don't pirate. But I don't know that it's, a, like you said, I don't know that it's necessarily the detriment or the, the, the big evil that these video game manufacturers make it out to be. I, I just don't think it's affecting their bottom line as much as they say. So yeah, I I, it's, I don't I don't think you're hugely evil if you do it. I honestly don't. Um, I think it depends also on like who you're hurting. If it's a little person, if you're if you're if you're somehow say some guy's trying to get by, and you know he's either like a small artist, say like Breno Floss, you know a friend of mine, he puts out albums. Um, instead of paying the, the few dollars to get his album, you're going out and you're you're hurting him a lot more than you're hurting a huge. Uh, band like Metallica, that's different to me. You know, that that's a little different. I don't, I don't like to split hairs, but yes, that is true. I mean, especially if it's a, it, it, like, like people who pirate indie games and they're asking two ninety nine for the indie game, like that's bad. Yeah, eat a dick, dude. I yeah. mean, eat one less cheeseburger from Jack yeah, in the Box. It's and you've not got like the game. it's not like you're risking sixty bucks and gonna have crap. You're right. risking three dollars. And if it's crap, it's three dollars. That you know that that candy bar was crap too. You know, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I, I think there are shades of gray when it comes to piracy i have to i have to say that no i mean I don't think I, it's black and white yeah i guess i agree with that i don't i don't like to but <laughs> you don't like to <laughs>